Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to show you another catch, clean, and cook on some blue crabs, and we're going to show you how to pick them. So y'all stay tuned. Guys, we're crabbing old school like I did when I was a kid. Hand lines, dip net. So I got one right here. You see him pulling on a string. I just caught one on the other line. I ain't been here five minutes. Okay. Uh, so we're going to ease it in real easy. Now, they don't want to let go of that piece of fish on the end. I got this. This pole right here, that's for lifting them up where I can get the net up under them. And he's swimming with it. It's pretty close, about six or seven feet away. It's going to slide the line underneath that hook on the pole while he's gnawing on that. That's a piece of bluegill, actually. It's going to ease this net up to him real slow, like. Okay. Try not to bump the bottom with it. We're going to lift him up. I'll ease that net underneath him. There you go, easy as that. Another nice keeper. Right there. There you go, blue crab, baby. I'll tell you guys, the tide started coming back in this creek, and the crabs have come in. You got him? I see him right there. Okay, now just hold it where you got it. It's better if you have two people. That's a nice one. All right, I'm gonna ease my net down. Don't pull him no more. He'll let go. I, 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 he's pulling me. Oh, there's a bigger one coming. There's two of them oh, on God, it. God. Now they're fighting for it. Oh, don't pull it. Don't pull. They're pulling here. See? Okay, just hold it tight. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna lift him up gently. Oh my God. Gently, gently. Okay, you got it. Both ah! of them. <laughs> Double. Double. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Nice ones too. There you go. That's that's how quick you can catch you a mess of crabs old school. Alright, I'm starting to see him. Alright, stop. Just hold it where you got it. Now this pole lifts him up. A baby one. Uh, but ooh. lift it, pull it tight so you can get it out of the net there. Ooh. In here? Kinda looks like it. Oh. That's see that's a all right, I wanna show the viewers here real quick. It's a female with eggs. Oh. Yeah, are you that backwoods gourmet guy? Absolutely. Yeah. That's freaking awesome, man. I was watching one of your old videos the other day. Yeah, and we're out here making one right now. <laughs> Do you need me to snatch that thing out your finger, bud? Uh, no, I'm gonna probably That's go to the fire station happen. down the road and put a little numbing juice in there because this hurts. Oh my god. Alright, well, we're catching crabs today, bud. What's your name? AJ. AJ? <laughs> Pleased to meet you, man. Yeah, but we are the Backwoods Gourmet. And now, hold it tight so I can pull this up out of the thing, dear. Pull it tight, so I can there. Okay, we'll toss it back out. Hi right, guys, Backwoods Gourmet down here crabbing, and we run into AJ, who happens to be one of our subscribers, by the way. And uh, he had a little fishing mishap today, with he would like to share with you. And uh, don't ever try to catch a baby trout with treble hooks hanging out of its mouth. <laughs> okay. They'll get you. <laughs> now, I offered to take that thing out for him, but he says he's going to go up to fire station, let the paramedics do it for him, give him a little numbing juice. Yeah, it hurts. So, uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. We're going to take a little break from our crabbing because they're biting like crazy. And we're going to help him, since he's kind of one-handed, I'm going to help him get his kayak back on the truck so he can go up there. Or he can leave his kayak here and we'll watch it for him. That'd be cool. Like, you just want to leave it here, then, you know. I'll probably have you help me load it up. That'd be awesome. If you want to load it, we can do that. Or if you just want to leave it here because we're going to be here a while. Yeah. And my wife's a gourmet, so she'll probably be the one pulling it out. <laughs> I'm 
that'll be great because she won't take it easy on me. <laughs> You'll say, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a Marine? <laughs> Only Marines do dumbass shit like this. <laughs> All right, so we are talking about females with eggs. You can't keep these just about anywhere including right here in the state of Florida. You know, it's breeding season, it's spring. Crabs are coming up to spawn. And I want to show you real quick a female with eggs. All right. You see them eggs on her belly? That's a million new crabs, okay? People in the old days used to make a she-crab soup from these things. But, uh... You know, now we're going to conserve this big old healthy blue crab female to go and lay her eggs and make a whole bunch more. So, there you go, girl. That was a lot of fun, man. I always love crabbing, especially when they're coming hot and fast like that. We just caught them just right, uh, with, you know, around the tide change, around the incoming tide in some creek. Uh, we only got six that we could keep. We caught quite a few females with eggs. You've seen us putting some of those back there. Hey, but six, that's going to make a nice little snack. Um, I mean, I could eat six by myself for dinner. If any of y'all have ever picked crab, you know it takes a lot of energy just to get them out of the shell. I could probably eat them for three or four hours straight. So, right before you get ready to clean them, we want to chill them because we don't want to get pinched by those claws. You've seen those things. Ah, they're just crazy. Okay? So, got them in a five-gallon bucket, some water, some ice, and about a quarter cup of salt. That salt's going to let that water get super chilled, and it's going to take the bite out of them just like that. So these guys have been in there only about 10 minutes and uh, I, I'll never I always go in and see how how stunned they are before I start poking my fingers down in there okay and uh, they're still moving but very very slowly okay so what we're gonna do is dump them out in this bus pit just to make sure all of them are just chilling they're all chilling now. Nobody's trying to nobody's trying to pinch me anymore. Okay, we did get a few clams too, so we're gonna, gonna throw those in the pot also. So uh, let me show you how we clean them here in Florida. Now up in the you know Chesapeake area and all that, they just throw them in whole just like this. Well, most of those folks down here in Florida. We're going to clean them just like this right here. We're going to take that top shell off. i got my bucket. Bucket standing by for the parts we don't want. And these are the gills, or what they call dead man's fingers. Let's take our knife and we'll scrape those off. All right, I'm going to grab his mouth parts right here. Just pinch them between the knife blade and my thumb. And then there's this... Uh, uh, what you guys up in Maryland like to call the butter I say that's the guts okay we're gonna go ahead and pull most of that out all right I'm gonna rinse them off a little bit and that is a Florida style cleaned blue crab I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them exactly the same way we're gonna leave them here in this super cold water till we're ready to put them on pot so we let that come up easy and then we're going to crank the fire to it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go right in here on top of our little grate. We're going to put us a layer of these guys. We don't have a whole lot, so it's not going to be a whole lot of layers. We're going to kind of spread them out. Standing by, we have some... Seminole Swamp, Fire in the Swamp. Gonna give them a good 
shaking it at. You know, the, the steam is going to dilute a lot of this seasoning. We're also going to do some Old Bay. You know, pretty good dose of that. Let's build in another layer on top of there. Get the rest of them in. Some more Old Bay. Another little shake of Seminole Swamp fire in the swamp. Then we're going to sprinkle right over the top some real key lime juice. This is Nellie and Joe's from Key West. Give that a little squirt on them. Just kind of right over the top. I'm going to get a lid on them and let them go eight to nine minutes. All right, so our timer just went off eight minutes. They smell awesome to me that right now. Let's go ahead and take them all out of there. And by not boiling them and just steaming them, most of that seasoning stays on them. So they're going to continue to cook a little bit in the shells. I'm going to let them cool. And then hopefully all that meat will release easily from the shell the thing. If you ever eat these guys, you know it would be kind of a pain to get out. So we got our clams. Go ahead and stick these guys. A few we found. It's not not in the spot that my favorite spot like they used to be. That lid back on. Just chilly crack. Time to plate it up. We're, today we're going to plate it up family style. So we're just going to start bringing our crabs over right into the uh, our big platter here. We're going to try to keep them like you know top up, make a nice little mound. We've cooled down enough that you can pick them that they're still warm. That one right on the top right there. Gonna come in, we got here's some of our clams we got here. We'll put them around the sides there. Alright, and what we here have here is uh, just some lime zest. Gonna sprinkle that all over the top for garnish. Oh, that smells awesome too. And then we have some some lime wedges. Right there. And that's a catch, clean, and cook. Some blue crabs. So don't go away. Now I'm going to show you how to pick them by request from you guys. All right, obviously, going to need a nice cold beer for this. You're going to be here a while. So let's start off with the claw. Gonna break that downwards off the main body, okay? And it's gonna have some of that shell, you know, attached to it. I like to just dip it. I'll use my use my mouth. Kind of suck that off. Now you notice we have a small. Hold on. We have a small knife here, so we have that on purpose. So we can kind of feel around where that meat's at. So I'm just going to pick it and try to resist the urge to eat it all. So you're going to have to open up these little sections to separate all the crab's muscles and skeleton. And you can use your fingers to kind of find it so there's not a lot there on the base of that claw you know this is like one of his you know major arms so I guess first step we're gonna break him backwards right there and when these pull out of the meat that's good now you're gonna need to crack this now you can use a variety of things nutcrackers uh, I actually make crab claw crackers. 
you know, we're pretty backwards around here, so today we're using a Leatherman tool. So we want to kind of do this off uh, to the side of our plate. And, you know, sometimes it comes right out of there, sometimes it don't. That's why you need this little knife. I can reach right in there and get between the shell and the meat and bring it right out. Just like that. Same on this side. It's got a kind of a tendon running through it, so it's not the easiest thing to get out. That's like the, uh, I guess that would be his bicep. So the crab claw is usually a little easier. I like to break that one knuckle off of there first. If they're huge ones, there's a little bit of meat in there. Now I take this uh, top claw, bend it all the way upward, and pull it right out. And that's all the cartilage. So now you're going to gently crack this, which is not always easy. All right. And you can pull it out. And when you've cooked them right, this claw meat will come out of there pretty well. So we'll go around the inside of it with our knife. And it comes out nice, nice lump. Now most people can crack those. It's this part of the crab that most people have trouble with. Now the big lump meat is right here in this swimmer fin. And if you just grab him and kind of push down on it you'll see it all right there nice big lump and that hardly has any of that shell in it so you can actually peel that back just by twisting it kind of grab it and feel it kind of feel the edge of the shell there kind of peel that back and I like to save this to dip in my butter over here just leave that right on the swimmer now it gets progressively more difficult as you get down into these other legs so we're going to twist them and kind of separate them apart all right and then there's each one of those little legs is attached to a shell just like that that wraps the meat around it all right and you can kind of use your little knife to get those remaining shells off and we'll pile each one of our legs over here. And it, get, it gets smaller and harder as you work back toward the front. Just make sure you don't lose any there. Use the tip of that little knife to dig it out. All right, see, that's all meat. That's all meat. But there's another little chamber right there. See how we use that little knife to pop it loose and just take it off? Now, that's almost all meat right there attached to that leg. So we're just going to keep on working on them until we got it down to where there's very little shell and these nice clumps of meat attached to the ends of the legs. Now that's the way I crack a blue crab. There's probably a million ways to do it. This is just one of them. So don't leave a comment up there uh, telling me I'm doing it all wrong. Unless you've got a YouTube channel that's uh, teaching people how professional professionals crack crabs. You know, everybody's an expert, but nobody else... Uh, is out here trying to show you how to do it. Hey, thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. Hey, don't forget about our Amazon store for great outdoor cooking gear. I'm going to leave you the link in the first comment below. Also, if you like what we're doing, please smash that like button right over there. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, hey, and don't forget to ring the bell. It's going to be right over there. For another great Backwoods Gourmet video, it's going to be right up here. And for a whole playlist of cooking fish and seafood outdoors, it's going to be right up there. We'll see you next time.